Hello, you are welcome to this analysis for GBP USD for the coming week of October 6th to 11th, 2013. In the past week, the, we had projected that uh, there was going to be a bullish week. Well, it was slightly bullish before it turned bearish, but um, I would rather say that somehow uh, by the time it got to the entry level we projected at 1.60754 uh, level uh, the market was already strongly bearish and so uh, it was not to be for us okay so but then uh, following the market from the opening with a small a little gap at 1.5 I still extended it all the way to 1.6262, which was good deal for those who followed that. All right. Okay. Um, for this the coming week, uh, we are going to be focusing on the trend and then our possible entry level. Okay. We won't be using the COT reports in this analysis simply because uh, the COT reports was not released as a result of the U.S. government shut down. Okay, very quickly. The trend for this week, based on price action, we have a price pattern formed here, and this is a dark cloud cover and is strongly bearish. And so, with this, I do not need uh, much analysis on this, other than to state that in the coming week we should be expecting a strongly bearish week for the GBP USD. In addition, if we check out the US dollar index, the US dollar index in the uh, week that just ended formed a hammer here, and on the last trading day, which was Friday, formed a bullish engulfing. Okay, now for the same GBP USD, if we check the daily time frame, it's a strongly bearish continuation pattern that we had in the last trading day of the week, which was Friday, is the okay. So, in the coming week, we are strongly bearish on GBP USD. Now, using the switching over to the four hours time frame and bringing the trend line uh, to this, we'll be seeing something like this here. This is bearish trend in place, and if we also operate with what we have got here of course this is where the rejection started okay so based on this the market is going to be strongly bearish so how about our entry levels for this coming week uh, very quickly um we have already run the power points analysis and i've picked my key levels here yeah. this is 1.6093 for the five of points and the command last sale is at 1.6081 and if i bring them in as i have them here already we have yeah 1.6093 for the lower five of points and camarilla sell at 1.6081 here yeah. And then we have the Kamala buy at 1.5941 and the loss support at 1.5925. Okay, so we will be looking at selling around this area from 1.6081 all the way to let me bring in Fibonacci recruitment and get a confidence entry point there. Okay. Um, based on the fall from 1.6262 to 1.6007, which was the lowest recorded in the past week, uh, 1.6104, which is the 8.2 replacement level, tends to have a slight agreement with 1.6093 However, uh, 50 percent replacement of Bonacci is at 1.6135, which is in agreement with 1.6139, which is where we have the Woody's R1, and at the same around the same area we have the 
the max uh, top so level what are 4.6137 so here is a cell area for us here is another cell area so we have two cell areas this week so uh, if the first cell takes place here a possible second cell may take place here but then after a first cell here price is likely going to go all the way depending on what happens whether it comes down here first if it comes down here first it's likely that is around now if you look at where uh, if we if we look at where it began in the past week let's draw a machine line there a replacement line there that's around 1.5696 so that was the lowest of the you know the penultimate week so if we take that into account price retesting that place there's like there's a strong support there and there's the likelihood of it bouncing back up to come back possibly pierce through here test through 1.6139 level and for the next cell that may still take it down to this place all right so it's likely price may not definitely break below 5956 in the coming week then just watch these important levels 5.5956 1.61 6081 6093 1.6104 and 1.6135379 even though maybe all the way to 3 or 6145 but then just pay attention to these levels i am going to be picking just three two cell areas 61 um 61 uh, 08 6081 to 6104 and 6135 to 6140 that will be my key cell levels for this coming week and the buying first will be at 5956 and that will be the only buying that may happen for me in the coming week um i think that we just have to be careful because in the coming week also we need to pay attention to the fundamentals uh key events to be expected in the coming week i think on thursday on thursday you'll be will be expecting the asset purchase facility of the bank of england around midday midday and it's a very strong indicator as well as the interest rate decision but i think more on focus will be the asset purchase whether uh, more, more funds have been injected into the economy or not of course so we'll be paying attention to that and of course uh will be also the fomc meeting minutes will be coming up on wednesday at 7 pm local time in nigeria and that's not to rule out that on wednesday wednesday at 9 30 pm manufacturing productions and a couple of other indicators from uh, the uk uh, will be also coming out so please just stay straight to win and watch these levels very very carefully i want to wish you a very wonderful and highly profitable trading week my name is ifa from narapago.net